Need to try Finn. Again. This user does not accept calls from this number. Please hang up now. Seriously? Seeing close renovation and the underground moves right in. Finn's gotta be inside. Hope I can be there to see the explosion. It'll change everything. Gotta watch out for spiders, man.
kind of security they've got. Same kind of barrier they had at Gym Theater. I need to drain the generators. In those shacks, which are locked and powered down. Need a new power source. Like that giant spinning mobile. work. Webs won't reach. Wire it to the shacks. Got it. Sticky and conductive. That's one. Feeling good. Well, this is working. Gotta be behind all that.
winning the science fair, getting to show off our converter here. You were so proud. <sighs> this. You and me. She's got to be with our project. Down that hall. again. Did I win or did she? Guess it doesn't matter now. I'm coming. Hey, where'd they put us? I've got the museum map on my phone. Our project's in a special exhibit on the top floor. Can't wait to see our names on the little sign, like real scientists. Today, the Oscorp Science Center. Tomorrow, every major museum in the world. Since the mid-20th century, scientists have envisioned human habitation beneath the sea. Looking out your window, someday you might see the brightly striped clownfish, or even the menacing anglerfish. I'm naming that one Howard. You name one. Uh, Leviathan. Love it! Algae farms are a key to sustainable, healthy living beneath the sea. Commercial and industrial algae cultivation is already used in a number of products, from colorants to pharmaceuticals. I wonder what algae tastes like. Probably kale. Ugh, I hate kale. the design of a submarine with the deep sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. <laughs> you and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Think underwater living sounds like science fiction? Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow, we could be building beneath the sea. Pass. What, you scared? Of sharks, the dark, tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no for me. The 
Earth is bigger than you think. 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be the next frontier in human habitation. It's weird to think how little we know about our own planet. suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first pressure-proof diving suit was developed with salvage work in mind. Today, suits such as these are used by salvage workers, scientists, and explorers. Think they'll let me try it on? Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. Can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. Let's go to the main hall. Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. Using a shape memory alloy, or memory metal, Oscorp scientists created this prototype of a metal that could change its shape while maintaining integrity. One day, memory metal could be used in many types of machinery, and even in your own home. Whoa, check it out. Metal that changes shape. I like the idea, but it looks kind of basic. Bet it could be improved. This model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars, our closest neighbor in the solar system. This community is designed to draw on abundant water and counteract low temperatures, making human life possible on the Red Planet. It's like a whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. Architectural innovations are the key to human survival on extraterrestrial planets. This model home would protect human inhabitants from the low temperatures on Mars. Check it out. You want a house on Mars? Sure. If I could bring my mics, audio setup, sampler. They won't let you take all that. They will if they want good music on Mars. Museums like this where I grew up, we had to drive two hours to see something like that. Considering we spent an hour and a half in traffic, it's not a big Ooh, we gotta play! Oh, come on, it's just button mashing. So you admit defeat? Never. Gotcha! Found something I'm better at than you. Not for long. <laughs> Come on! Yes, 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 yes! Yes! On! <laughs> yes! This game was made for me. Two wins does not a master make. a win for me. No way! That did not just happen! <laughs> Third time's a charm. The museum's gonna close and you'll still be playing that thing. Okay, okay. I'm done. This Oscorp rover, adapted from models currently used on the moon, can be operated as a man or unmanned vehicle. Used to carry minerals and find water sources, the Oscorp rover would make exploration possible on Mars. Scans for minerals, carries people across toxic wastelands. What can't it do? Can you imagine driving this thing down fifth? Move, pedestrians. <laughs> Solar energy, already popular on Earth, 
could provide heat and electricity for space stations, shuttles, and extraterrestrial settlements. These Oscorp stickers show how flexible and affordable solar cells can be. Go on, take a sticker. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, shiny? Those are portable adhesive solar panels. Ooh, portable shiny. Would you ever move to space? You know, if you could. Only if my family came to. I would. Chance to start off. Make a name for the cool. Right. When's Rick gonna get here? He just texted. Said he was headed into the subway. So it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours? Basically. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um, our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Thanks anyway. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Right, but see that door? The hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator. Can't just break in? We have to. They're taking down the exhibit tomorrow, and then we'll never see it. Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones would work, but they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean changes shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, hey, look. Solar mirrors. And sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light-sensitive lock. Take one. Now we need something we could slide under the door. Government and privately owned spacecraft explore our planet, solar system, and galaxy. To communicate with them, Scientists use radio antennas to send and receive messages across local and interstellar space. Oh, I bet the sound quality on these are dope. Not from space. Not gonna help us get past that door. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. This stuff is crazy. Think it's a meta material? Must be. Wonder if it's using a phononic band cap. That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, oh, man. Oh. Sorry. All good. I'll attach the sticker. Let's get that door open. Look how the external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. We could recreate the idea, but with a neural interface. It would overload our central power. Not if we integrated it over the entire mesh from multiple entry points. Hmm. Do you think you can handle it? With enough time and a lot of coffee? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll supply the coffee. Well done, Peter. I couldn't do this without you. We should probably head back to the lab. We've overstayed our lunch break. Oh, Doc, I'm so sorry, but I've got to take the afternoon off. It's an emergency. Again? Peter, is something bigger going on? Perhaps at home? You know you can talk to me about it. Well, I, I'm fine, but I'm sorry to run out on you again. Not at all. Work will be waiting when you get back. Thanks, Doc. Integration over the mesh. That boy's mind never stops. Oscorp Science Center. <laughs> Norman can't build anything without making sure his name's on it. 
This is either genius or really, really stupid. If we open our own research lab someday, that's what I'm naming it. Genius or really, really stupid. For all your R&D needs. <laughs> I've got the light. Tell me when the sticker's pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. No one's looking at us yet. Gotta hurry. That was awesome. I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us, seriously. Okay. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Finn says hi. You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay. We'll get a picture. Love you, Dad. Bye. This is it. Our project's in the back. Think they got a converter all hooked up? Otherwise, what's the point? They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. Nuclear energy is the key to our future as we explore interstellar space. Fuel efficiency and transportation will be vital components in reaching and settling planets at the far reaches of our solar system and beyond. Oscorp Nuclear Reactor. Rick's working on something that's supposed to make nuclear energy obsolete. Do we get to know what it is? Nope. Roxxon's keeping it super secret. Cultivating agriculture in nutrient-enriched fluids, what we call hydroponics, could make farming in space a reality. Wonder if they can grow flowers in space. They're probably more interested in food. Why? You trying to impress someone? I like to be prepared. In case I get a crush on a cute astronaut. <laughs> okay. This engine, used in the Apollo space program, is one of the most powerful inventions that uses liquid fuel. Today, Oscorp is building on that technology to maximize fuel efficiency, making deep space exploration possible. The most powerful single nozzle liquid fuel rocket engine ever made. I'd love to build something like that. One of humanity's greatest accomplishments came from the Apollo space program. We reached the moon. Since then, scientists have dreamed of traveling beyond and someday settling our solar system. Lunar module from the Apollo program. Hey! We can name our time capsule after that. How many Apollo missions were there? 16... 17, I think. Apollo 18. I like it. The Oscorp Science Station, positioned at one of two stable Lagrange points between Earth and the Moon, 
could one day be a permanent home for human scientists and explorers. Man, it'd be so cool to live on a space station. I need to get that picture of you and our converter for your dad. Project. Oscorp's funding the coolest research? Is that your dream job? Oscorp scientist? Nah, can't see myself at a big company, but the R&D would be cool. Oh, ho, ho, wee! Would you look at that? Genuine award-winning scientists. No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> hey, hello. We need a picture. You gotta be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles. I am not saying that. Yeah! <laughs> 
underground system. And I saw a Roxxon tank. All the roads out of Harlem are blocked. Who are you? Near your apartment, trying to find shelter. Get to Tail Bodega. I'll be there soon. We'll keep everyone safe as long as we can. You gotta take care of them before I head back to Harlem. <laughs> Yeah. 